Should you buy the new iPhone XS or XS Max or instead get some of the best Android phones around, the Samsung Galaxy S9 series? Hello guys, my name is Vic with Phone Arena and in this video you'll learn all about the differences between these phones in performance, battery life and the camera, but first let's talk looks. The design of the new iPhone XS family is a combination of toughened glass on the back and front combined with a stainless steel frame with a shiny silhouette. The S9 series? Not any worse. Curved glass on the front, 7000 series aluminum frame that resists scratches better and a glass back. The iPhone is the one that's a bit heavier, but the difference is not that big. The thing that you will probably have most doubts about if you're picking between these phones, however, is clearly the size. There are some slight differences, but mostly it's about deciding whether you want a smaller or, or a bigger phone. The smaller XS and the S9 fit more easily in a pocket and are easier to operate with a single hand, while the bigger XS Max and S9 Plus trade the sizing convenience for a much larger screen that is a joy for videos and games. Then there are the details. You have an extra Bixby key on the Galaxies that most people would never use, simply because Bixby is not a very capable voice assistant currently, and Samsung has decided users cannot reprogram this one button, which is just annoying. On the other hand, there are no extra buttons on the iPhone, just the regular ones, and we like that Apple has made the power key extra large, so it's even easier to press it. It's also great that both iPhones and the Galaxies are water-resistant devices, all with an IP68 rating, meaning that they are certified and tested to survive a short stay in water. In terms of ports, the iPhone uses the Lightning port, while Galaxies rely on a USB-C port for charging. The Galaxy also come equipped with a headphone jack, while the iPhones don't have one, and you either need to use a dongle or get a pair of more expensive but also more convenient wireless earbuds. The XS series for the first time don't come with a dongle in the box, and if you want the 3.5mm audio adapter, you need to spend an additional $10 to get one from Apple. And then you have security. The iPhones are all in with Face ID and it's a bit faster now, plus theoretically it's harder to hack it. The Galaxies on the other hand use a basic face recognition that does a good job during the day but is not as secure as Apple's Face ID, plus Samsung also keeps the good old fingerprint scanner and you can use a combination of the two secure unlocking methods. The iPhone XS and the XS Max both feature beautiful OLED screens, the same technology that Samsung phones have been using for a much longer while. And yes, all of these screens are among the best looking displays out there. Colors look lively, brightness is high and everything looks very sharp on all phones. Is there a better one though? It's hard to tell, they're really very close in terms of quality, so would call this one a tie. You do have the big notch on the iPhones though, while Samsung phones just get a bigger top and bottom bezels instead, so it's up to you which appearance you like better. The big difference between these phones, however, is in the software that they run. iOS and Android now mostly do the same things, but often in very different ways. On iOS, for example, you still cannot do the simplest of things, like freely rearranging icons on the home screen. There are other little things that seem excessively complicated on iOS. For instance, why do you need to go into settings to change your video resolution? Android, on the other hand, excels in these matters as you can customize your device fully, slap a custom launcher and get a completely different look, and it also supports power features like split-screen multitasking, plus a few extra ones like hiding apps and folders in a private folder that others cannot reach. Apple, however, has iMessage. It has the App Store, which is still the first and often only stop for some of the best mobile games, and it has the more fun gimmicks with things like an emoji. The other consideration is the update situation. You know, all iPhones get updates the moment Apple releases those updates. While on Galaxies and other Android phones, this takes long months for the major updates to come and software support is much shorter. In terms of daily use, iOS is also clearly the smoother, more fluid one, while Samsung experience runs much faster than before, but it still drops a frame and stutters every once in a while. The big gains, however, this year come under the hood. The new iPhones are the first phones in the world shipping with the next generation of mobile chips that Samsung phones will probably only get next year. 7 nanometer chips. This new technology is a big leap over the previous ones and the iPhones are in the forefront. You can see the benchmark results 
to understand how much more powerful the Apple A12 chip is when compared to the Snapdragon 845 on the Galaxy. This is not just about speed, it's also about future proofing the phones and Apple is ahead of the curve here. Then there are the differences in storage capacity. These days the Galaxy S9 series are offered mostly in their 64GB version, while the iPhone XS starts at the same 64 gigs, but you also have versions with 256 and 512 gigabytes of onboard storage. However, and that's one big consideration, you have to pay big money for those larger storage versions for the iPhones. Samsung on the other hand still supports micro SD cards, so you can easily get more storage at an even more affordable price. iPhones don't have such an option, so the storage you buy is the storage you get and you cannot expand it. The other big question you surely must be wondering about is which of these phones has a better camera. The smaller Galaxy S9 is actually the only one here that doesn't have a secondary camera, so it doesn't support portrait mode shots. All others, the XS, XS Max and Galaxy S9 Plus feature a combination of a 12 megapixel wide camera and an equally big telephoto camera. The camera apps on the two phones are easy to use and have a lot of options, but there are some differences. iPhones have automatic controls while the Samsungs also offer manual photo controls. Which phone takes better looking pictures though? You can take a more detailed look at images from both phones on our website at phonearena.com, but one thing is clear, the iPhones have a much improved camera that consistently takes great images with pleasing colors and great dynamics. The Galaxies are also excellent camera phones with fast autofocus, but they don't quite have the same impressive dynamic range and are a slight step behind. Take a look at a few different shots and a video sample showing the differences. What's up guys, now it's time to test the video recording capabilities of the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and the Apple iPhone XS Max by recording in 4K60. We have a 5 minute limit here on the Galaxy S9 Plus, no such limits on the iPhone XS Max. We should also point out that the loudspeakers sound great on both the iPhones and the Galaxy phones, so whether you're listening to music or watching videos, the experience is top notch. We've also had no issues with call quality on either of these phones. All live up to expectations of a flagship 2018 phone and calls come out with good reception and sufficiently loud and clear voice quality. We also ran our proprietary battery test on all four phones and found that the iPhones last a bit more than the Galaxies, despite their smaller battery size. Getting the bigger phone in either brand also means you get better battery life than on the smaller ones. In real life you will be able to get through a full day with all of these phones without any issues, so no big worries, but if you are a heavy user you will likely need to top up your battery midday. Both the iPhones and the two Galaxy S9 phones also support quick charging, but weirdly there is no quick charger in the box with the iPhones, so you need to spend more money on top of the already high price that you paid for the phones. The Galaxies on the other hand do come with a quick charger in the box and all these phones also support wireless charging, which is a nice option. Ok, let's wrap this up and look at the prices. The XS and XS Max cost around $300 to $400 more than the Galaxies and that's big money. Is the difference worth it? If you are just looking for a great device that would look great, have a capable camera and perform well, who well, then no, the Samsungs do this as well as the iPhones. In fact, if you are the kind of guy who wants to customize their phone and wants the option that come, options that come with Android, then clearly the iPhones will not convince you. But if you obsess over camera quality, or you play a lot of games, or if you care about software updates, or if you are in any way connected to Apple's ecosystem, then most likely those iPhones will be worth it as they will surely remain relevant in many years to come. 
Okay, and this concludes our comparison between the latest iPhones and the Galaxy S9 series. Like if you enjoyed watching this video, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.